Hello, my name is Caroline and I'm going to present the work made by me and by Fabiana Lorenzi. It's called Math Reader, API for Handwritten Mathematical Expressions Recognition. Here are the topics I'm going to talk about. The problem, the objectives, the proposal, the modules that make up the Math Reader and the technologies we use to develop it. I'm also going to talk about the validation, the API, and the conclusion. About the problem we approached. There have been many advances in the fields of computer science in recent years. Nowadays, everything is surrounded by technology, and computational devices have become an important tool for writing. But we still have the challenge to write the mathematical notation on these devices. The representation in processing of math notation on computers is difficult when compared to plain text. There are some applications which accept the input of math notation using the following approaches. One of them is by accepting the latex language. Latex is something very used in certain areas, but also there are many people who don't know about it. Therefore, using latex can be hard for some people, as it requires learning its keywords and its structure. I have an example here, an expression written in latex and its corresponding image. So, if you need to write an expression in latex, you must know that, for instance, the frac keyword means fraction, the sqrt means square root. This example is very simple, but it gets more difficult when the expression is bigger or when it is more complex. Another way people do that is by allowing the choice of each symbol individually using the mouse. They show a panel to the user with a few options and the user has to choose the symbols that compose the expression. It works, but it is an arduous task. So considering this problem, here are our objectives. The first one was to develop an API containing a system that recognizes handwritten math expression. Second, to enable software developers to integrate the functionality of recognizing handwritten math expressions in their systems. And, alas, to facilitate the insertion of math expressions in computational systems about our proposal. The MathReader API is presented to allow handwritten math expression recognition made on devices such as smartphones, graphics tablets, or other computing devices with a touch screen for recording. The expression is recognized and translated into the computational language latex, so it can be used later according to the needs of the system that integrates the API. It was developed using convolutional neural network, computer graphics, algorithms, and the structural lexical and syntactic analysis algorithms. We defined the accepted symbols which are the following, the digits 0 to 9, the symbols A, B, C, M, N, X, Y, Z, the dot symbol, plus, minus, asterisk, the square root symbol, the different and the equal symbol, parentheses, brackets, and braces. The accepted operations are addition, subtraction, multiplication, division, potentiation, and square root. On the right, we have an image of the API flow. First, there's an image with a handwritten expression. The image is acquired to the system that integrates the API. 
So each system is responsible for getting this image and for sending it to the math reader. Once the math reader receives the image, it will treat the image, recognize each symbol and to generate the latex expression. Now I'm gonna talk about each module that composes the math reader. First, there is image processing, which includes computer graphics algorithms. The image is converted from the RGB color scale to the grayscale, some filters are applied, and the symbols are segmented. Next, it is the symbol classification step. This part is about training and running the neural network which recognizes each symbol that makes up the math expression. Third, there is a post-processing step. I'm gonna talk about it in more detail later. There is the analysis step, which includes the structural, lexical and synthetic analysis. There is the error correction step. Here it tries to fix some grammar errors that may have been caused due to errors during symbol classification step. And finally, there is the module integration, where all the previous modules are integrated to create the API. This is an example of what happens in the image processing step. There's an original image, which is pre-processed, and then segmented into isolated symbols. In the symbol classifier step, we use the convolutional neural network to classify each segmented symbol that makes up the expression. The architecture is composed by five convolutional layers, two fully connected layers. The input receives an image with size of 28 by 28 pixels and the output is the 30 possible classes. Here to perform the downsampling we use convolutional layers with strides of size 2 so we could still learn these parameters and achieve a better result. All of the filters along the network have a size of 3 by 3 the first and the second convolutional layer have 32 filters. The third and the fourth layer have 64 filters. And the last convolutional layer has 32 filters. The dataset we used was the handwritten math symbols. We got it on Kaggle website. The image of symbols asterisk and dots or draw manually on a graphics tablet by the authors. The ReLU activation function was applied in all convolutional and fully connected layers. The softmax function was applied to the output layer. We also use data augmentation, dropout and L2 regularization to prevent overfitting. It was trained using categorical cross entropy loss function and Adamax optimizer. On the right, I have the training results of the accuracy. So the training accuracy was 99.22% and the validation accuracy was 99.48%. Data augmentation was used on training data and it applied shear and rotation transformations to the image. Here is an example of each of these transformations. After the symbol classification step, the post-processing step is performed. The segmentation step divides all unconnected strokes into individual symbols. There are cases, however, that symbols have unconnected strokes, such as the equal symbol. In this case, the neural network identifies the minus symbol separately and after the symbol classification step, the strokes that compose the symbol equal are joined, if necessary, in the post-processing step. Here I have an example of this process. So 
that are two minus symbol but they actually belong to the equal symbol so in this process they are joined and finally we have the module integration step here it is the development step where we integrated the developed modules to create the API. The main methods provided by the API are the following. Recognize, get predictions, get selects errors and get yuck errors. The technologies we use to develop the API are the following. Python, OpenCV, TensorFlow and Ply which was used to perform the lexical and synthetic analysis. We ran the API validation in two different scenarios. In the first, we validate the efficiency of the API. In the second, we validate the integration with the API and the user experience. Twelve volunteers were invited to validate the API and they were either computer science students or software developers, but only two of them were familiar with LaTeX. To validate the LaTeX expressions generated by the math reader, 88 expressions were written by the authors and by the volunteers. 81.5% were recognized correctly, 18.5% were not. The recognition errors in expressions can happen due to the following reasons. Symbol segmentation errors, symbol classification errors, structure analysis errors, or the insertion of an invalid expression. It was possible to observe that many errors occur due to symbol classification and structural analysis failures. A web application was developed to validate the integration of the math reader with another system. The volunteers were invited to install the API to use the web application and write some expressions. Each volunteer wrote some expressions in the web application to be recognized. These expressions and the results were sent to the authors so the errors could be analyzed. Each volunteer answered a questionnaire about the experience of using the web application. Two important questions got yes as answer from all of them. The first question was, did you like to use the validation application? And the second was, do you think MathReader facilitates the insertion of math expressions in computers? There's also a few comments written by the volunteers, like It would be interesting to add the dot multiplication. I had a little difficulty making the asterisk with the laptop's touchpad, but the API behaved correctly with the expressions created. I found the solution very useful because writing formulas in LaTeX is a challenge for anyone. Being able to count on a converter that can take complex formulas and do this translation in a fast and uncomplicated way is valuable. I detest thinking about large formulas so that the authors can work harder to reach that level with this project. And the last, I like the tool. In the future, it would be able to help a lot in the academic environment and in the daily life inside an app. It needs minor adjustments, but it has already shown great potential. Here are some of the expressions which were recognized correctly. And here are some expressions which were not recognized correctly. The MathReader API can be found at the PyP repository and obtained via PyP package manager. Its source code can be found at GitHub. Here I have links from PyP and GitHub. So, the MathReader API provides support for the handwritten of math notation, 
and facilitate the insertion of math expressions in computer systems. As future work, we intend to add more symbols, improve the performance of the symbol classifier, and allow the multiplication operation using the dot symbol. We also thought it would be important for the API to return the results of the math expression in other formats, such as the MathML. So that's it, thank you so much, and do you have any questions?